hey, 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 guys. Well, anyways, I'm finally doing this video, guys, because I kept procrastinating. Yeah, procrastinating about doing it that I was gonna do, and I never do anything. So today's a beautiful day out. The sun is beautiful and everything. So I might as well just do it. My 16 and pregnant story. So basically, I didn't really have complications and stuff. Oh yeah, like I had her six weeks before my actual due date and everything. Like when I was like 33 weeks, like yeah, I was turning eight months and I had to go to the hospital because I had kidney stones, like really bad pain, like around here and stuff. And I was in the hospital for like two weeks and everything. And like, um... I thought everything was normal like me and her dad and everything like we used to like we used to like when we were like when I was pregnant and stuff like we were living by ourselves like we weren't with no help from nobody or whatever like we we're living by ourselves we were just working waiting for the baby to come and stuff like I was working at McDonald's at the time and he was working like a shipping company and everything and like we would like everything we would do if it wasn't in the car it was just walking so i feel like that's what made, made like me like have a little bit of complications but it wasn't that like a big of a deal like i didn't even think i was gonna have her before time like i was not thinking of it because everything was going so great and then like so yeah the doctor told me i couldn't work till like after i had her so i had to like be home and stuff and I had to be on bed rest and all that stuff and like then like literally two weeks after i was in the hospital for two weeks that's when like i had a dentist appointment and i went to that appointment it was like one in the afternoon and i was living with his mom at the time we were like we were living by ourselves at first and then after like the two weeks of me having kidney stones we moved to his mom's because that morning that i found out that i had kidney stones before going to the hospital i um was peeing blood and it was so weird like we were flipping out we we're like what the hell like, honestly the first thing that popped up is she, we we lost her like we didn't even think anything of it we were like we lost her because it's like weird to see blood like you don't know nothing and then like they told us that we were living at his mom's house at the moment because they didn't want us living by ourselves because they were like oh like obviously we were on our own like if something happens we wouldn't know what to do and then like yeah like that day that i had it earlier in the day it was like one in the afternoon i had a dentist appointment you know they can't give like x-rays because you're pregnant and all that stuff so they can't give you x-rays so i was there on the in the room waiting and stuff and they were taking forever so i was just like i gotta reschedule and i told the lady i was like what's wrong boo boo i told the lady i was like can i reschedule because i gotta go home like i do not feel good i felt like i was about to faint right there so and like I called my mom because I was living with my mom and I called her. I was like, can I go to your mom, to your house, mom? She was like, yeah, that's fine. And I went to her house because I know she has AC and everything. And then I just went into her room. I was there in her bed and everything. And my two older brothers, because I have two older brothers, a, a sister and a, and a boy. And then they were going to work at four. And it was like three something when I got to their house. And like, ow, girlfriend. It was like, um, <coughs> bless you, baby. It was like yeah three in the afternoon and then like i was i went to the house and i was there in the bed i turned on the ac and everything in the fan and i was just in the room but i was in pain little did i know i was already like having contractions at like three in the afternoon and i was there thinking that since when i had like my kidney stones i was having really bad pain so i so they told me like oh that's the kidney stones pain so i did not think that i was in labor already like I was having that pain. I was like, oh, no, that's normal. Let me stop acting like a little girl because I, I complain about everything. I'm a big baby. I whine over the smallest things. So then, like, nobody thought anything of it because I just drag shit. Like, I drag things. And then, like, um, what are you doing? And then, like, so I was in the bed. Then my brothers left. And I have a little 13-year-old brother. And, like, he was there, too, in the house, in my mom's house. And he, then I was just there with him. He did not know what to do. I was in the room complaining and complaining because I had so much pain. Then my mom came from work like at 6 in the afternoon. 
like she kind of figured it out she kind of like noticed that i was really in pain like at first she was like oh no like it's just like small pain then after when she saw that i was like really really dragging it like not dragging it because i was in labor already but i was like already you know like telling her like i can't she started like making me walk and everything like because she told me like either ways even if i go to the hospital and i was gonna have the baby i w they were gonna make you walk that they were until actually you were like about to have the baby so then she was making me walk she was making me milk she's giving me ice creams like offering me stuff everything i would eat i would throw it up right away and she was just making me walk and i was like oh my god i can't i can't i can't then it got to the point it was like already nine then when that came i just like i told i had to use the bathroom and i went to the bathroom and then like i told her i was like mom i feel her head shaking down there we gotta go and then like that's when she was like already right. like it got to the point that nah i had to go to the hospital and then like so i was like basically having contractions since like three in the afternoon badly till like nine in the night like really bad and then like um that's when she called the ambulance and everything then cops came they told me to change and everything like i did i thought that i was gonna have the baby right there in my mom's house because they were coming in with gloves and stuff and i was just like whoa like surprised i was like oh my god like do not tell me i'm about to have this girl right here and then like they put me in the ambulance like then we went and mind you i was nine centimeters dilated at my mom's house like i was already having a baby basically literally i was supposed to have my baby like in a hospital like not that far but they had taken to the closest hospital which was south side hospital that's where she was born so like i had to have her to have her right there and everything because i couldn't make it to the hospital i was supposed to have her in and like once i like got there they just called a gynecologist and everything he got there like not, he didn't take that long to be honest i felt like it was long because i was in pain but he didn't take that long and like at the moment they were asking me if i wanted epidural obviously i was like no let, i just need to i just want her to come out already i was like no i didn't get no epidural once they checked me right there i was literally nine centimeters dilated right there they were like uh-uh we gotta do this right now the doctor came then when he came in like I was like okay he's here he he looked at me and then he went out he was like oh let me go change i was like really and then like he came back in and then i was like right there um my baby daddy was there then my mom was there and everything and like it was like come on we do this and like right there literally i had her in five minutes it was like a bad bad pain that i would never experience i would never want to experience again but eventually it would happen but yeah like then i had it right there five minutes then it was done once she came out the pain was gone i was like okay like it wasn't so bad not saying that everybody's the same because i feel like my pregnancy was so easy to be honest like since the beginning i didn't have no like morning sicknesses or nothing like everybody like says like oh girls give you like the worst um you know symptoms and stuff and then like boys is easier than some people say boys is harder and girls whatever like i feel like everybody's different like when i tell people the story they're like think that it's easy but i feel like everybody's different because i see some girls in bad pain like throwing up every day or something waking up ill and stuff but i really didn't have that like i was there i, I was doing stuff like if i wasn't pregnant the whole time i was pregnant and like yeah like so then yeah that's basically mostly like it it was like an experience that i wouldn't want to go through again every time someone asks me do you want to have another kid i'm like no but obviously eventually i don't want one because i felt like it wasn't that bad but you know at the end of the day she came out like six weeks before but she's a healthy baby like at first when she was born she did have to stay in NICU for two weeks it was like the worst thing I, it was heartbreaking because literally i only got to like give her a kiss like for like two seconds when she came out of me and they had to like take her down to NICU i didn't get to have her in the room the two the two three days that i was in the hospital so i had to be going to visit her every time and then at first they were like telling checking her and stuff to see if she has something wrong with her and like she had a heart murmur at first 
they said and then like we went to the specialist and everything the doctor or whatever and at first they said like they had to put a monitor on her for 24 hours and they said that she was like she had it girlfriend come on girl like um she was like had the heart murmur like they say a hole in the heart the second time we went thanks to god like she was fine they said she didn't have anything and like i'm thankful of that because usually like preemies come out with at least some sort of problem or stuff or some are like good and i'm blessed that even though she came out six weeks before i thought she was gonna have like something but she's a healthy baby she eats a lot look how chubby she is look how chubby say hey 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 she's seven months right now and like yeah she's like good and everything like that's basically it like i don't know what else to say i don't know if i missed anything that's like basically my story it's not a big of a deal but it's something like it's just for like you know to say like my story because i know a lot of people share their stories and some people like to look at stuff like that like see like everybody's story not trying to say that you should be pregnant at 16 but you know it's good to share stories i don't advise anybody to get pregnant at this age because the struggles me and her dad went through are not easy and like it's just not easy like it makes it harder trying to finish school like i'm i'm process i'm trying to finish school and it just makes things so harder to be honest like not don't get me wrong a baby's a blessing and everything but it just doesn't make things like easier as it would be without having a baby but you know she's a little blessing and everything say hey 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 so that's basically it i hope you like this video tell me like videos that i should do because i don't have a life basically <laughs> just kidding i do have a life but sometimes i'll be bored with nothing to do and just like you know and like comment share and subscribe for more videos you'll be known say bye 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 bye